Okay, this contraption is a thermoelectric generator making electricity from heat. Wood fire is heat source. This unit was originally designed to use steam through the top heat exchanger and air cooled on the bottom of the 12 volt fan. The secondary function was to generate distilled water. A modified pressure cooker serves as a boiler. Dirty water or even salty seawater can be made into drinking water while generating electricity to charge a cell phone or batteries. Four of the inexpensive TEC 12706 modules are assembled in series. These modules are less than $3 each and are designed to be cooling devices with a maximum temperature rating of 150 Celsius or 300 Fahrenheit. Over a fire, the heat supplied to the modules is somewhat controlled by using this aluminum heat sink with long fins and a thick mounting surface. The wiring is insulated from the heat sink with heat resistant Teflon tubing and a thin sheet. Top heat exchanger is made from a piece of 3 16 inch thick copper sheet with quarter inch copper tubing formed and soldered in place for maximum heat transfer. Shaped hardwood block screws down holding the assembly tight. A small 12 volt pump circulates water through the system using 3 8 inch tubing. The pump consumes 300 to 500 milliamps. If a natural water source at a higher elevation was available, no pump would be needed. With 67 degree cooling water and a module hot side around 275 Fahrenheit, an open circuit measured nearly 16 volts at 1.6 amperes. Wow, almost 1.7 amps. Here are some tests using 12 volt devices. A dual filament automotive light bulb, a 1 amp fan, and an LED lantern. Cell phone charging is rather slow using a 12 volt automotive charger. It's 5.49 p.m. and the battery is showing 64% charged. A little over half an hour, 76% charged. 95% charged, 728. A unit using more of the inexpensive TEC modules would provide more adequate power. This will be a future project.